will spread love and positive vibes. And I will start the video by thanking our new subscribers and our returning subscribers. We are you to Igwe, Igwe. You have made us to be this far. If it were not for you, we wouldn't have been where we are. Road to 4,000 subscribers. Guys, let us do this before the end of this month. We are going to appreciate. Don't just watch the video. Hit that subscription button and join this family where we bring to you news about great lads, great people, wonderful people. That is what we do in this channel. And today, there is this woman hey, who decided to joke with the wrong people. She decided to touch the wrong people. She decided to go to Jamaica, step on the soil of Jamaica, and start talking shenanigans, start talking about how dangerous Kingston is, how dangerous Coronation Market is. And I wondered, if Kingston is that dangerous, why was she going to shop there? She was actually taking a selfie in the midst of Kingston. And then she declares how dangerous it is. She was with her camera, taking her videos. Actually, she's a blogger. Taking her videos, and then she declares how Kingston is dangerous. This is funny. This is actually out of proportion. Because I cannot understand. You have your camera. You are taking your selfie in the midst of Kingston. You are taking your actual videos in the midst of Kingston. Because you have come to Jamaica for the people of Jamaica to support you. Then in the middle of nowhere, Kingston, you declare that it is dangerous. You declare that commission market is dangerous. Are you serious? The reason why I decided to shoot this video, because I've seen it with my own eyes. People going to Kingston, people going through Trench Town, people going through the streets of Trench Town and the streets of Kingston, and I've never had any of them attacked. Maybe I can start by counting them. We have Dimwango. Dimwango stayed in Trench Town for several months, walking on the streets of Kingston, walking on the streets of Trench Town. We never had her complaining. We never had her saying about insecurity. And this woman comes to talk about insecurity in Kingston. I think she was just looking for something and when she could not get it, she decided to actually attract views by declaring how dangerous Kingston is. Dimwango has been in Kingston for the longest time. And we have never had anything dangerous happening to actually Dimwango. Not even dangerous. We have never had her even talking about the slightest crime done to her. River on Dimwango, Shonarwa. We saw Sean Arwa going to Jamaica and the first destination she ran in is Kingston. And she was moving on the streets of Kingston. She was moving on the streets of Trench Town. We never saw any dangers that actually Sean Arwa encountered. She stayed there, I think for a month and a week. And nothing happened to her. Reef Shonara Ron come to Coco Girl. Coco Girl went to Jamaica. And actually Coco Girl was traveling even sometimes at night. And we never had any insecurity about Kingston or Trench Town where they were staying in Esther's house. We never had about any insecurity. Not even that. Look at Old Maya and Miss Trudy. They were walking on the streets of Kingston and none of them faced any danger or was attacked in 
Kimeguya, or their cameras taken, or the equipment taken, nothing happened to them. I don't understand why this woman should come in social media to actually talk about Kingston being dangerous. It is very, very awkward. I don't understand why. But first, let us listen to her and then we'll come back to analyze. But let me tell you guys, even before we listen to her, she faced the music of the Jamaican people. I always tell you, I love and admire the courage with the Jamaican people. They will not sit down and allow you to ruin their country, allow you to talk shenanigans about their country, about their people, about them. They will tear you off. So in this video, we are going to see the lady who was complaining about Kingston and we are going to look at the reaction of the Jamaican people to this woman. So take a look at the video, then I'll come back to analyze. This is a message to the folks who travel to the Caribbean or to Africa and you go in certain areas, please make sure that you are very well educated on the areas you're talking about. Take a look at this palm colored woman who went to a market in Jamaica called Coronation Market. And she has said that it is the most dangerous market in the Caribbean and Latin America. Yet she was able to walk through that market freely and take a selfie video, despite the fact that one of the workers, you know, yelled at her and told her to turn her camera off. She got through unscathed. Take a look. Today I am grocery shopping in what is called the most dangerous market in all of the Caribbean or Latin America. This is Coronation Market in Kingston, Jamaica, and the reason it is considered so dangerous is because it is pretty much like right in the middle of Tiboli Gardens, which is just a super dangerous area. I'm kind of like hiding in the back right now. It's just me. I'm just filming me. Oh, someone's coming to yell at me. I'm just taking a video of me. See? It's just, Who you? Who you to do it? just it's a video of me. See? It's filming me. Oh. It's just filming me. Okay. I just got yelled at. Um, they really don't like it if you film here. But it's interesting because like uh, in all of Jamaica, they don't really like it if you film. But then if I show them like all oh, the cameras just facing me, then it's okay. So. Uh, Hasn't been so easy to film here, but yeah, today I am in, um, I'm trying to shoot a vlog, <laughs> grocery shopping at this market. If this market was so dangerous, again, I say, how was she able to just saunter through with no issues? You know, she lives to tell the tale of that market that's supposed to be the most dangerous market in all of the Caribbean. First of all, have you been to all of the Caribbean? Have you been to all of Latin America? How do you make such a statement? Well, I'll tell you what, she's receiving a lot of backlash for saying that from Jamaican people. And I will say this to my Jamaican family, sound off, put it down below. Is this market in Kingston the most dangerous market in all of the Caribbean and in all of Latin America? Let me know. I beg to differ. I will say Kingston is known to not be the safest and there are other parts of Jamaica as well, like Clarendon and areas like that, that have, you know, sort of its level of crime, but that's, it's that way everywhere you go. So again, I say, if she felt like that was the most dangerous market in the world, she wouldn't just be walking around there with her camera taking selfies, take, you know, taking a selfie video. Come on, do better. Please don't put out these kinds of things about um, countries that you come into and you don't know the facts, okay? But again, I say to my Jamaican family and anybody else in the Caribbean or Africa or just my people in general, okay? Let me know what you think about this. Miss, do not come back to Jamaica. Who sent you? Who you working for? Are you a spy? What did they tell you? Miss, do not come out here 
you come out here do your flag. You come like say just come for for dig up so 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 sitting pan we. Coronation market are the most dangerous market in the whole entire Caribbean. And you not get a beat down there, miss. You're walking up and down nicely. Did you hear your decent the lady come over to you and ask you, oh, who give you permission for film? Until she finally say, are you? Why oh, you so dangerous? Why they never gang you? Everything dangerous. You see Bob Marley train and pick me playing around it, but it is very dangerous. The Aki, what your name is, is dangerous because it pie. Miss, you know, say Aki can't hear Why you not Google some information about the thing before you come a video on that wall? Why they never take away your phone from you? Who sent you? Aki can't eat ra. Pull out the seed, clean it out, eat it. It's a fruit. A fine people make me know this. Me they mark it and see them buy them. I can't clean it out. They eat their work and eat it. Oh, it's sweet and nice. But it is poisonous. You go down a hero circle, make you not go buy the crab. Why Alice never done left you give a load of crap in our bag? Everybody didn't know about Alice. They go a hero circle. I know the crab you go for buy. I you go talk with Alice, the chicken and sit in. You go pan the train, Bob Marley train. You know, show one little historical um thing. No, it dangerous. Me why when they did go in at the front part, they little put in and they lock you up, lock you in and you can't come out. You just come to Jamaica for report about bad things. Me see you in some bush at about you in the jungles of Jamaica. You say we are jungle miss. You in a some bush. You yeah, tell people say so they them say so they can't go to the beach because of so far. Beach there when they can't walk, go drive, go jump in at every day free beach. Me not say some of my properties they not sell out for two. But public beach there where people can go as them feel alive. Why you they talk them to me some who sent you? No man me feel so you're a spy. Then if you take you back into the country. Mm, the only video I see you do where you have something good for say is the jelly. And like you couldn't find nothing for say about the jelly. The man watch up the jelly. Me that listen for you he say he dangerous the way my cut it. Cause everything out here is dangerous. I was listening for you to say that it is very dangerous so he cuts the coconut. Miss, please do not come back out here. We know what we have. Tourists love with area, you not do nothing to help we. You come, you talk about the laundry mat, them Miss Jamaicans use their hand and wash and them buy them washing machine. We not we cannot afford to go to laundry mat. Every single Jamaican nowadays I think have a washing machine and their house, and if they don't, they know if you sit down over them bad pan and wash them dirty clothes. Why are the the, the large matter for uno? You know, say a twenty five US dollar. I fi uno. What can I use uno and I wash? So why you complain about? It, you, why you not talk about? Why you not talk about? Do not come back out here, Miss. I am warning you, cause if you book up on me, then I want to say you book up on one of the most dangerous Jamaicans. Yeah. Do not come back out here. I will it more things that you me can't remember them. Practically about ten video. And out of the ten video, I probably one you know says it's dangerous. One you know says it's dangerous and it's the jelly coconut when the man chappy gear. I mean it was listening for you. No man, you are the weapon that farm against us, man. You are Miss Kitty, you are the weapons that farm against Jamaican. Yeah. Oh, me forgot that part at too. Oh, this is all your bad beer in Jamaica. So you're not gonna no nice little pub bar and the single all your nice restaurant beer and get it with a glass of ice. Or with a napkin, or a bottle. You know, go on a nice place. You're going to want place don't turn or where you turn this and you tell people say this is how them buy beer in Jamaica. No, you go buy your beer, you get a hundred and fifty dollar change. You buy one worker, one Lucas seed, and somebody else one dragon. And then you say this is how you buy beer in Jamaica. You have to buy for half a people. You're going to the store, go buy half the store um drinks. You buy one Lucas seed for one worker and a dragon soul for somebody what you promise. And you go, you say you you fi stop it. You fi stop it. 
Which half of the story about a drink? Make it look like we lick lick and crab. Mm. That part that it burned me too. That's also apparently when you're going to a store to buy a beer, you have to buy. Much, much drink you buy. Me, the, 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 the lady said, one Lucas here and two Dragon Stout. The worker get the Lucas here and you get the Dragon Stout to this man. So which half of the shop you buy, liquor? Can you look like you, you, you could even... Look here, miss. Do not come back out here, miss. Please and thanks. I hope you have seen the ready and her shenanigans. And you have also heard the Jamaican people tearing her off. They told her, you cannot come to our country. We treat you nicely. We welcome you. We actually uh, are good to you because generally Jamaicans are warm, welcoming and loving. And then you start talking about the dangers. And you have your camera on the streets. You are taking your selfie on the streets of Kingston. You are actually going through the streets of Kingston without facing any danger. And then you come and claim how dangerous Kingston is and the condition market is. Jamaica told her, no, we don't allow such nonsense. If you think Jamaica is dangerous, then you wouldn't have come to Jamaica. If you think that Kingston is dangerous, why did you go there in the first place? Why did you come to Jamaica in the first place? What impression do you want to create to the people outside there about Jamaica? And I tell you, she faced the land of the Jamaican people and they told her, fire burn you. <laughs> she was told, fire burn you. You cannot come and bring your shenanigans in our land. You cannot come and bring your arrogance in our land. You cannot come and bring your disrespect in our land. Go to your country where there is a lot of security. And it happened that this woman is actually from United States of America. And I wondered, I'm not to compare Jamaica and America, but I thought there is a lot of insecurity and gunshots and murder cases in United States more than in Jamaica. I stand to be corrected, but I thought so. And for this lady to come to Jamaica and start talking about the dangers, when she is still on the soil of Jamaica, when she is still on the streets of Kingston, when she is still in Jamaica, and no one is attacking her. Actually, the people in the comment section were telling her, thank you, your God, because you came out without being hurt. Because you cannot talk, come and talk about a nation which you have come to visit, and you have not faced anything. You have not been attacked. Nothing of yours has been stolen. You have not seen anybody interested in you. And then you talk about insecurity. You talk about the dangers. You talk about uh, some places are dangerous. That is uncalled for. And as a person who has been following the YouTubers in Jamaica, the YouTubers outside Jamaica and who visit Jamaica, I can for sure say this lady had her own shenanigans because we have seen so many people and i've mentioned them visiting jamaica and they come out well nothing happens to them they have their equipment we know some of them have very expensive equipment the cameras their laptops and nothing happens to them what is this woman what is in kiswahili says what so so it seems like like uh, this woman had more sophisticated gadgets than the youtubers who go to jamaica or she was so rich that she thought her riches were at risk in jamaica can she stop it we are going to stand with the people of jamaica because they have proved time and again they are good people they are wonderful people. They are welcoming people. We cannot allow you to go to Jamaica and start talking about how dangerous it is. Why did you plan your trip to go to Jamaica? Why did you carry your gadgets to go and shoot videos in Jamaica? Why didn't you create content in 
your own country? Those are so many questions you can ask about this woman who just comes to create money in Jamaica but proclaims that the people of Jamaica or rather the cities of Jamaica are dangerous. Kingston is like any other city in the world. It's like Nairobi here in Kenya. It's like New York or New Jersey or any other city anywhere in the world. And you cannot go there shouting on top of your voice how dangerous Kingston is. There are so many visitors that come to Kingston. We have not had the visitors being attacked in Kingston. We have not had things being stolen from people in Kingston. What are you talking about? Actually, I felt like I am one of the Jamaicans who is being attacked by this woman. And I felt like turning her off. And I think the people who replied to her, the Jamaican people who replied to her, did a very great job. They told her, then if our country is dangerous, then never come back here. Stay in your country which is safe. Stay in your nation that is safe. Don't come to a, a place and then you start declaring how dangerous it is. It is uncalled for. It is disrespect. It is actually spreading rumors because nothing has happened to you. You have not been attacked. Nothing of yours has been stolen. Why should you shout on top of your voice that Jamaica is dangerous? Very, very awkward, but in the wrong run, she faced the wrath of the people of Jamaica. She messed up with the wrong people. She touched a hot wire and it erupted on her. She will never, never, never step on the soils of Jamaica and start declaring how dangerous those places are. Because there are so many cities she would have gone to, to in the world. Why did she choose Jamaica? Why did she choose to go to Kingston? So, it is very, very sad. And I also felt bad because I have seen those streets and people going to those streets and they are always safe. I could not understand what this woman is talking about. But guys, she received her piece of the cake. So, allow me to stop this video at this juncture. Thank you once again for watching us. See you during the next video. Bye bye and God bless.